Hey Taurus, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and I'm coming to you with a general love tarot reading for my Taurus folks out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look and see what messages are coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership, okay? Um, Taurus, do me a favor. If you enjoy these readings, if it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates like share comment subscribe engage with this video um so you know you can see more just like this one uh taurus today we're going to start off with the separation the breakup oracle deck this is one of my decks um that i design and create and sell it is available on my etsy shop if you're interested okay all right so taurus let's jump right into your reading this certainly could play out in the month of may um, although it doesn't have to, okay? Just really depends on where you guys are in your journeys. All right, so what's going on with my Taurus out there? What are they dealing with? So you could be a Taurus, your person could be a Taurus. We have the tease card that came out. It says, provoke or tempt, not offering a fair deal, can't be trusted. So some of you guys are dealing with someone who is a big tease, okay? I feel like this is someone that... um you know you may be casually dating you're connecting with i feel like there could be a little bit of um i'm getting a hot steamy energy here right um they're tempting some of you guys you feel like maybe you should stay away from this person like you can't trust them um there's also a situation here where they're not offering their fair share they're not offering what you want maybe they're not offering the commitment okay it's just fun and flirty we also have unreliable not dependable, fickle and flighty, unpredictable, erratic behavior. So this could be like a knight energy, okay? Some of you are dealing with a uh, knight of wands, <laughs> a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. This could be someone here that you just don't know what you're going to get, right? I'm getting like um, a loose ball kind of energy, right? And this is someone that tends to be in and out of your life very unsure about what they want very unpredictable okay you cannot rely on this person if they say they're gonna come and see you on friday you know they may never even call right this person may not show up so i feel like this is someone that you have um there, there's some kind of pattern of behavior that you may have pointed out with regard to this person and it just feels like i can't trust you i can't i can't rely on you for certain things right so let's jump right in clear messages for my Taurus out there all right so we're going to start off with the recent past energy give me one more good shuffle okay the recent past what happened for my Taurus out there we have the two of swords we have the queen of swords Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and a page of swords. A lot of air energy. There could have been a lot of communication in a past Taurus. There also could have been a lot of like overthinking, a lot of mental energy. There could be something here, Taurus, that you had to really think long and hard about because the two swords is here. Making a very logical decision, okay? Maybe choosing between two things, two people, two paths. Something here just felt like... Um, you had to find out more, right? Maybe you had to ask questions. Maybe this person towards you to ask about what their intentions were, what they ultimately wanted, right? Because the page of swords tells me that maybe there was something you found out about this person. You had to investigate. You had to do more research, okay? Um, there is some kind of truth here that I feel came out or was given to you Taurus regarding this person again it could have been because um you know you and them were talking or you asked the right question or this information came to you page of swords could be online social media the internet you may have found out something and it feels like with that information you had to make a heavy um head of a heart decision a big decision and it was very difficult for you okay now the current energy Taurus we have the two of wands, a lot of um, crossroad energy, right? Two of swords, two of wands, choosing between two things, right? Six of wands and eight of pentacles in reverse. Some of you Taurus, um, you are choosing to maybe not invest in something or someone because you feel like they're not capable of changing. They're not capable of giving you some kind of security, okay? Now with the six of wands, it feels like you're going to be... Um, 
you're getting a lot of attention. Some of you, the Six of Wands, could be like you're getting recognition. Someone sees you and respects you. They want your attention. They want to be seen by you, okay? But it feels like, Taurus, you're having to make a decision, and it feels like what's best for you? What's best to invest in for you, okay? The Two of Wands. So there could be something here that you're kind of going back and forth regarding maybe if you want this person's attention or not, okay? But I really think if it comes down to like, is something worth investing, okay? Time, energy, that kind of thing, okay? Now, external to you, Taurus, whether it's this person or someone else, we have an emperor in reverse, okay? You see that? So it could be a divine masculine, it could be someone here that um, you looked at. You look at as someone that maybe at one point you respected, you wanted some kind of opportunity with them. Um, however, the emperor in reverse tells me there is something this person is not doing okay they're not leading they're not they're not showing up for you okay and there's something here where maybe you feel like they've disappointed you there's some kind of maybe expectation you had for this emperor like energy and i don't feel like they have met your expectation okay the emperor in reverse could be someone who has lost their way they're misdirected okay and they're just not taking you or the connection serious okay now we have the nine of pentacles this is definitely someone that may be very much um single a bachelor right five of pentacles they could be feeling very much left out in a cold by you they could feel like you want nothing to do or deal with them right five of pentacles just feels like there's a lot of distance between the both of you and i actually feel like this person misses your attention misses your companionship um they may want to be seen by you okay but i just don't feel like this person is acting right okay now, with regard to how they see moving forward with you, I do feel like this person is going to take some kind of drastic approach towards you to get your attention, to be seen. The devil in reverse could be like letting go of some kind of toxic way of thinking, belief, behavior, something that they've been doing that you're not, um, you know, you, you don't really find it to be attractive. The devil in reverse could be also like getting rid of something getting rid of something that is not serving your highest and greatest good so bettering themselves in some way for you okay i feel like this person wants to be seen by you okay especially with the five of pentacles feeling abandoned feeling left out in the cold i feel like that's why the devil in the verse they're going to try to do something that you're going to be looking at them as like okay wow it's some improvements right um because there's something about ridding of oneself of something that maybe distasteful to you something that turns you off something you're not proud of with regard to them okay something you don't like this could be a capricorn now coming in we have the four of wands in reverse we have the sun i love it breakthrough energy leo and we have the lovers gemini there could be something here okay that taurus maybe this person hasn't been everything that you wanted four wands in reverse it could be something where there, there's something that feels like it's not the way it should be. Maybe it's not your traditional way of dating. Okay, the four wands in a verse makes you feel like this is someone that may not be ready to move in together or have a family, right? There's something very non-traditional. But the sun and the lovers, it feels like there's still happiness. There's, there's still a possibility of being happy, of enjoying this person's attention, of wanting to be around this person there's some kind of opportunity that you could be seeing that you didn't see before and with the lovers you're having to make a decision do i want this person in my life do i want to share myself with them right so with the four of wands in reverse this person may not be ready for marriage or home family you know that type of commitment but there could be something here where they play a different role in your life towards okay the sun where there's some kind of breakthrough there's there's an opportunity to be happy feel peaceful harmonious all right so let's jump right in we're gonna find out more like share comment subscribe okay um let's get that tease and unreliable energy so someone is a big tease they're a little bit unreliable but again maybe they serve another purpose <laughs> you write the justice card and so there's something here where i think taurus you're having to take back your power when the justice card comes out it talks about balance it talks about equality fairness right you do to me as I do to you, that kind of thing. So Taurus, there's something here where maybe you're having to put your foot down and let this person know that I'm not willing to accept this type of behavior, right? And so there's a balancing of the scales, right? And it feels like the justice card is gonna be you bringing balance to a connection. So if this person wants to treat you as a casual connection, then maybe you, you treat them the same way, okay? It could be something like that. 
This could be a Libra in the recent past. What is that decision about? The star, Aquarius, the emperor in reverse. So it could be regarding your divine masculine, regarding this person you've been dealing with. And the seven of wands. So in the past, there was a need for you to protect yourself. Why? Because I don't feel like this is someone here who has um, had your back. Okay, I feel like the emperor in reverse is suggesting that they failed to do something. Right? They failed to protect the connection, seven of wands. They failed to fight for you. And so there's the energy of you maybe putting up your own guard, okay? And protecting yourself. Some of you guys just could be removing your emotions from the table. I also feel like there was a need to heal from something. So something here may have came out or came up or came out. Something may have been revealed to you with this. Uh, I'm getting a lot of communication. Something may have came out and been revealed to you. And it feels like it may have push you in a direction where you knew you had to like heal from something okay the star is also hopes and wishes and dreams okay so maybe you guys became more realistic about what you ultimately wanted okay in life and regarding your relationships let's take a look at the current energy we do have the two of wands it could be a decision you're choosing between two things six of wands you want that victory energy there's a two of wands again so definitely decisions 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 here um, over the next month, perhaps, Taurus, you have a lot of decisions that may be coming to you, and it feels like it's requiring you to make that decision, okay? Now, with the Knight of Cups, it could be regarding a love offer, Six of Swords. There could be someone here from the past, someone that you dated brief briefly, someone that <laughs> thinks about you, very dreamy energy, someone who cares about you, but may not have been able to really show it. There is something you're going to be making, um, a decision regarding this person, and it's regarding a past situation where there could have been some conflict right the six of swords you and this person didn't agree there could have been some kind of parting of ways with the six of swords okay and something was never really fully adequately dealt with there could be a decision you're making regarding this person okay but i definitely get a sense with the knight of cups this is someone here that has been wanting to pursue you but for some reason they couldn't okay so Give me the emperor. What is this emperor about? The nine of pentacles, a single person that is coming up in Taurus is reading the sun in a verse, Leo energy, two of pentacles, and a page of wands. So this is that fun and flirty tease energy, right? Page of wands, they come in, they're excited, they smile at you, they bat their eyes, right? Um, but the two of pentacles is juggling. This is someone here that keeps their options open and they go back and forth or in and out of your life because there's other people that perhaps they're dealing with. And I do feel like the sun in the verse tells me that there's something that your person doesn't want you to know or there's something your person doesn't like you to see, okay? They hide the other side of them. So you only may see like literally what they present to you. The sun in the verse, it could be something that they have not revealed to you. And so I almost feel like that's why you have to be very cautious and weary of how this person um what what they could be going through, what, what they're dealing with, or what they're doing behind the scenes, okay? So yeah, the sun in the verse, big Leo energy, there's something they're hiding, not revealing to you. It could be regarding their options. Um, and that's why Page of Wands, they kind of come in with a very flirtatious vibe. Now, give me the five of pentacles. The moon, they have some, some insecurities. I feel like this is someone that finds himself feeling alone, left out in a cold by you with the five of pentacles. And I'm feeling the energy of like, I miss you, Taurus, right? But the thing is, is the moon. This person has a lot of insecurities, so it's almost like they need a lot of attention. They need to feed off other people's energies is kind of what I'm seeing here. And that could be their own, um, again, their own insecurity that they're having to work on, free themselves from the devil in reverse, okay? Is their insecurity leading them to act in a very um, flirtatious way, right? That knight of wands kind of energy. I feel like your person like likes other people's attention, from the opposite sex or whoever they're attracted to because it feels like they just they're not they're not pleased with themselves okay there there's something missing from their own self okay there's something that they're um struggling with and a devil in a verse could be something that they're willing to admit to let go of work on okay so i like that energy the moon is again you know this is fear so whatever this is fears this could be um, their own self-sabotage, okay? Or again, insecurities. There is something that they're wanting to let go for pentacles in verse because it's not serving them any good. And so let's see how they're willing to move forward with you. The lovers, the sun, big breakthrough energy. 
opportunity, future, right? Page of Swords. There's something your person will be communicating to you. There is some kind of open dialogue conversation that you and them will be having. They want to be honest and truthful with you. Okay, the four swords in a verse, maybe after a period of not talking, of not speaking, of some kind of conflict, disagreement, okay, may have caused you guys to go separate ways. They want to talk about the home, the family, the ten of cups, right? It could be children, but there's also something, again, from the past that you and them have not been able to speak about. They want to talk about it now, right? There's something about let's make peace with this. I want to have peace of mind. I want to be able to go to sleep at night and not constantly think about this. So with the lovers, it could be you and them, right, coming together. It could be wanting you to make that decision for them, okay, or for the connection. So that's kind of what I'm getting at. Give me the sun, temperance they feel that in um the future i'm getting with time things will get better they feel that with time the sun there's an opportunity where maybe you and them can have um happiness right the sun move towards some kind of beautiful futuristic energy heal okay something that need, needs to be healed and so the temperance is like they're patient about this okay they understand that perhaps right now isn't the right time but in the future maybe it will be okay so this could be a sagittarius or a leo uh, we have Libra, Aquarius as well. So Taurus, let me know if this resonates. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out soon. All right, take care.